Hello my dear students, welcome to ASG Physics Academy. Today's question is, an object of mass 500 gram initially at rest is acted upon by a variable force whose x component varies with x in the manner shown. This is our diagram. The velocities of the object at the points x equal to 8 meter and x equal to 12 meter will be. So according to the question, I have taken an object of mass 500 gram. That means m equal to 500 gram. When we convert it into kilogram, that means half kilogram. Now the object is initially at rest. That means at t equal to 0, v naught equal to 0 meter per second. We have to calculate velocity of the object at x equal to 8 meter and x equal to 12 meter. That means v8 we have to calculate and v12 we have to calculate. V8 means velocity of the object at x equal to 8 meter. V12 is the velocity of the object at x equal to 12 meter. Now, the concept is whenever any force is acting on the object, then work done by that force is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the object. This is called work kinetic energy theorem. According to that, work done on the object is equal to the change in its kinetic energy okay this is our first concept similarly if we talk about the second concept when force displacement curve is there that means on the y-axis force on the x-axis displacement this can be x y z anything so in this situation whenever the curve is about displacement axis that will be considered as positive and whenever the curve is below the displacement axis that will be considered as negative that means work done in this situation will be positive and work done in this situation will be negative now let's see our question in our question first we are going to find out velocity of the object at x equal to 8 meter that means we are going to apply work kinetic energy theorem from x equal to 0 to x equal to 8 meter so according to this let's take x equal to 0 to x equal to 8 meter work done is w equal to change in kinetic energy that means k8 minus k0 k8 kinetic energy at x equal to 8 k0 kinetic energy at x equal to 0 now work done if we see the work done so first we see this this curve when we see this curve so we can see that this is 5 this is 20 that means this area this area is going to be 20 into 500 plus now if we see this area this area this area this area is going to be if we see here this is 3 and this is 10 that means 10 into 3 30 equal to k8 that means half m v8 square minus kinetic energy at x equal to 0 we know that velocity is 0 that means kinetic energy will be also 0 hence we can write here 130 equal to half mass of the object is half kg into v8 square that means we can write here after cross multiplication 130 into 4 equal to v8 square or we can write here v8 equal to square root when we multiply this this is going to be square root of 520 that means it is going to be 23 meter per second that means velocity of the object at x equal to 8 meter is 23 meter per second now let's see second one velocity of the object at x equal to 12 so here we are going to apply from x equal to 0 to x equal to 12 meter okay again we will write here let's take work done is now w dash equal to k12 minus k naught okay now 0 to 8 work done will be same as it is that means 130 now if we see here this graph is below the x-axis that means here this is going to be negative now when we see the diagram till this till this it is making one rectangle rectangle that means this one we can see that 8 to 10 that means this is going to be 2 and this one is going to be 22.5 because this line is between 20 and 25 that means 22.5 that means this is 2 2 into this one 22.5 that means this area is going to be 2 into 22.5 that means 
minus 45 again after this now if we see this area we can see that this is making one triangle so here for triangle we will apply the formula half base base is going to be 2 and this height this height we can see that 22.5 to 25 that means this is going to be 2.5 so this 2 and 2 will cancel out 2.5 that means minus 2.5 again when we see this one this 10 to 12 that means 2 and this one is going to be 10 this this 10 that means this also 10 that means this 10 and this 2 is going to be how much 10 into 2 20 equal to k12 that means half m v12 square and again initial kinetic energy is 0 now when we simplify this when we simplify all this this is going to be 102.5 equal to half mass of the object we know half kg from here into v12 square that means we can write here v12 square equal to 102.5 into 4 so when we will solve this this is going to be 410 that means v12 is given by square root of 410 that means 20.6 meter per second 